Hey, what's up everyone? Dragon back again with another edition of the Kaiju Commentary. On this one, you're watching 1980's Gamera Super Monster. Everybody's favorite Gamera movie. <laughs> and with that, we say goodbye to the Showa era. So, when you see the Dai logo appear on your screen, that is your cue to start listening to us. So we're going to kick things off in 3, 2, 1. Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Kaiju Commentary. Today, we are watching 1980's Gamera. Super Monster. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> uh, this is the final film in the Showa era. Um, and I would love to say that the, um, the Showa era, you know, the kaiju era that started it all went off on a high note. But it didn't. <laughs> um, now, you know, for those of you who don't know, this film is kind of notorious. Um, because while the Gamera films have never shied away from using stock footage before, uh, this one takes it to a whole new level. The, um, pretty much every scene with Gamera, with the exception of like a very, very select and obvious few due to their <laughs> very uh, extreme budgetary restrictions, are stock footage from the previous Gamera films. Um, and for that reason, a lot of people just flat out hate this movie. And... Um, I do not defend this movie. It's not a good movie by any means. I mean, that, that, that's my opinion, whatever. But I'm going to say something that is going to be deemed blasphemous in the kaiju fandom and something I know is not going to give me any points for probably any of you. So, you know. Brace yourself. Yeah, brace yourself. Start cocking your guns now, folks. Um, I actually don't mind this movie in the greater scheme of the Showa Gamera films. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> Again, I don't think it's a good movie. It's not a good movie. It's not a good movie. I'm not going to sit here and try to be like, oh, you see, actually. No, no, this movie sucks. <laughs> I'm going to be completely real with you, okay? But, um, with the exception of the first two Gamera films, um, I feel for the most part, the non Gamera components of the movies were just kind of very silly kids' movies that, yeah. quite frankly, I didn't have any interest in um whereas here it's a much more adult story i mean there's a kid in it but the adult characters in here are kind of cool i dig them i can i, I find them interesting and there's kind of a a really nice story arc with them and basically what sucks about this movie is that then it cuts to a lot of gamma stock footage <laughs> and had they shot new footage for the gamma scenes I actually think this would have gone down to history as one of the better Showa Gamera films after the first two. Yeah. But again, because I did I die at this point, I don't even want to say they're on their last leg. I mean, they were literally on life support in a vegetative state, basically. This was it. This was... I don't even think they thought they were going to make money off this movie. Hey, I, I gotta say, these are some nice paintings. Yeah. Some nice Star Wars... Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, and this movie blatantly rips off Star, yeah, this is basically the opening scene to A New Hope right here. <laughs> but they couldn't afford to actually make yeah, it. Yeah, that's, so. and that's my point. This is how cheap this movie is. But at is. least the drawings are good. Oh, but now we're going to... Hey, look. A is Star Destroyer. Star Wars? You... That's funny. Yeah, this movie just kind of blatantly rips... When it's not just copying, pasting, gamma scenes, it's ripping <laughs> off... It's weird enough, it's just ripping off Star Wars. Random. Um... But yeah, no, so, again, but the human, even though these humans are technically aliens, but the human alien story I find more interesting than a bunch of seven-year-old kids running around being stupid on a ship. That looks like a weird face. Uh, yeah. And if the only good thing about the other Gamera films were the Gamera scenes, then for better or for worse, if you just want to see just those scenes and not oh. have to deal with stupid kids, I recommend this one because you don't <laughs> get, you get... Beautiful, attractive women, and then all the gamma scenes. So it's kind of like a best of both worlds. I get, you know, again, it's not good, but I'd rather watch th these women, who are aliens, I guess, <laughs> than a bunch of you know snot nosed brats. Yeah, and that's just kind of my takeaway from it. So I'd always heard how you know. Oh man. And they're basically like superheroes. Again, wow. I'd rather watch this than a seven-year-old piloting a submarine. Me too. That's that's just how I feel about that. 
Maybe it's just because I'm a big, giant, hetero caveman, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd rather stare at beautiful Japanese women than... See, in the old Gamera movies, those kids right there, I know. That would, those would have been our protagonists. Who do you want to follow? Those kids who are going, to, going home right now or her? Don't be shy, baby. <laughs> See? This is way more... But yeah, so I again, had had this movie not rely at least not so heavily on stock footage. I, mean, I know other Gamera films were doing that, but at least they would have shot a good majority of, you know, new footage for that. I think this film would have been redeemed in a lot of ways, but the van flies off. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> but yeah, this is literally just like how can we make a buck, essentially? Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Remember when I talked about budgetary restrictions, folks? Remember uh, when I said the van should just fly off? Yeah. So no one's freaking out about that apparent just green blob now? Or green, wow, orange. I know colors, people. This is like old Sesame Street special effects. I know. So I can turn into the Teletubby son? Lie! Oh, her form's pretty... Oh. Look how beefy that girl is. I God know. damn. Damn, she thick. Look at these girls. These are some... Beautiful fucking woman right here. Like, I'm sorry. I don't care how cheap this looks. I'd rather watch these beautiful women in, like, Look you know. Look at those thighs. It was like Dexter's about to kill somebody in that room. Look at that. I know. I'd still rather watch this. I'd still rather watch this. They're beautiful. They're nice to look at. And they're not seven-year-old shitheads. So, for me, this is a big win. But again, yeah, so... I think this was Dai's attempt just to try to, because I know they were basically filing for bankruptcy, and I think they were just trying to make any kind of money they could to kind of recoup some of their loss. So they're like, okay, Gamera, let's take a bunch of footage, you know, <laughs> piece together, you know, let's get three attractive women, put them in there, we'll fill in the gaps with them, and there's our movie. So um, it was never... It was never even made in the eyes of Dai, I, I feel, to try to you know, be any kind of success. That's why for a lot of people, they don't even really consider this an authentic, you know, installment in the Gamera, you know, franchise. It feels more like a parody, which I'm inclined to agree to some extent. But like I said, I mean, I don't like all the kid stuff in the other Gamera films. I just don't. And maybe that just makes me a horrible person if that's the case. So be it. But... I found myself, you know, before when obviously not when we were doing these commentary tracks, but in in the past when I would sometimes feel like, you know, I'm gonna watch an old gamer movie. Let's go watch an old gamer movie. I would start watching them, and then I would quickly find myself just kind of like skipping over the the, the human stuff and going straight to the gamma scenes because I'm just like, which aren't even that great to begin with, but like, okay, it's gamma. No. Oh. That makes. I know, right? Jeez. But yeah, so basically for me, this movie kind of works as like, if I just want to see Gamera fighting other monsters and none of the human stuff, this movie basically works as, as like a good... <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She's like, hell yeah. She's so pleased with herself. I know, she's fucking fly as shit too. Look at her. Look at that feathered hair. Look at that skinny ass tie. She's rocking that shit way before hipsters were. I know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> just murder him? I don't know. Kind of looked like she made him have a seizure. Which is almost worse. <laughs> this was if she had landed in New York City, she would have pulled out like a desert eagle and like blown the guy's head off. Oh okay, God. so here's a kid. So there is a kid in this movie. But there's one. Yankee Doodle. Can you though? Can can one really play Yankee Doodle well? I mean, I know you play it correctly, but does that still make it well? Okay, now quick, quick poll here. For the rest of the movie, would you rather hang out with these guys? I know. Or the three beautiful women in very, very tight outfits? I okay. You see what I'm going with here, guys? It's like an old Shonen Jump. Oh, Jesus. That's funny they showed him in this. Yeah. Is 
Which is, it's funny, because this stuff just makes me so nostalgic, especially for, like, old-school manga. Mm-hmm. This is more of the stuff I'd looked at when I was a kid, especially in France. Would, would you actually have manga over there? Oh, I miss Japan. Me too. And it's funny, not a lot's changed in terms of when you see, like, the shops like that. It still looks like that now. Just more LED lights for the most yeah. part, depending on where you are. <laughs> Is it weird to think that just four years later we're going to have the return of Godzilla? I know. Oh, why is it in such a sad small bowl? Look at him showing off those forearms. I know. Condescending son of a bitch. I like how he's got like a little bit of scruff. Have you noticed that he, do his eyes seem wrong to you? What? Didn't they have like a, I don't know, for a second it looked like they had like a weird like glow to the. I don't know, was that just me? Uh, I guess. I, I was too distracted by his scruff, so I wasn't looking at his eyes. I don't know. Judging yeah. him, you know? It looked like, I don't <laughs> know, he looked like he might have been touched by evil a little bit. I can't quit him quite yet. She's amazing. Well, I think I like how all these women are like. She looks so perf- badass. Yeah, I know. She I want her sh- to like punch me. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> oh, look at that woman. She's so awesome. God, I want her to break my face. No, I'm just saying. But all these three women, they're very like kind of business professional. I mean, she runs a fucking pet shop. But I don't know. But, uh, but you know what I mean? Like, they're not like. They're all, like, pet professional jobs. They're all, like... I, I, I gives the sense it's a little bit supposed to be, like, Charlie's Angels meets, like, you know... Superhero. Like, you know... You stupid little shit. I know. She just lashes onto his face. She eats him. Please get the fuck out of my stir now, okay? She's like, hey, what's that over there? Snaps his neck. Did she, he just steal her turtle? See, didn't this scene now just get immediately better as soon as that kid left it? And here we have a uh, first little bit of stock footage. Again, like, <laughs> we should be really dicks right now. And just, like, intercut all our commentary from, like, these know, right? but Just, like, <laughs> Oh, I was actually tempted, but it would just be way more editing, but no. I know, right? But, yeah. So, but, yeah, again. So, but here's the weird thing I tell people. If someone just has a passing curiosity in the old Gamera films, and I specify old Gamera films, because if someone has a passing interest in Gamera, show them the High Side Gamera trilogy. Yeah. Show them that. <laughs> But if they're curious about the old film, well, they don't know. Like, honestly, eh, this film functions very well as a clip show. Like it, 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 it basically it's like a highlight reel of like the Gamera movies from the show era. Yeah. So I mean, it's not a good movie, but if you just want to see cool Gamera scenes and not have to deal with a lot of little kid stuff, this is this is the movie for you. Unless you think the wacky hijinks of small children is incredibly entertaining, then by all means, <laughs> go back and watch the other ones. Oh, is this where the helicopter gets sliced right now? Yeah, it's from uh, Gamma vs. Yeah. Gauss. Still a freaky ass here every time I see this right here. <laughs> I like how that guy just kind of jumped out there. I know, he just kind of looked out and goes, like, eh, eh, okay. why not? You Had know, a good run. Might as well just get a head start. <laughs> I guess that's, it's almost worse because the fact that they're narrating it and it's like clearly just the old stuff. Well, yeah, that's all this movie is. I know. Why can't the uh, space women fight all of these monsters? 
Because they weren't in the old With movies. Gamera. <laughs> Gamera gets a whole, you know, transformation. He wears the outfit. Wow. He's a space woman. Yeah. We yeah, get like a magical girl transformation where yeah. it's like five minutes long. Yeah, why not? Why not? Hey, if we can watch the same clips over again, I'll watch a five-minute transformation scene. Complete with repetitive, you know, attack scenes as well. Yeah, no, it is, it's strange, because again, I'd always heard about this movie, like, and it was notorious, and it's one of those movies where it, I, I didn't, I didn't see this one until a little bit later on in life, mainly because I'd always just heard how bad it was, it was a clip, and I know a lot of people are like, when, when they hear how bad something is, they're immediately, they get very curious when I check it out, and I'm just like, oh god. Yep. Again, I reiterate my point, you want this, or... <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yeah, yeah, no, let's cut back to the uh, spandex woman, please. Please. Yeah. Hurry. Now. Even the turtle's like, kill me. <laughs> kill me. He just drowns himself. So, yeah, and this is one of those other, it's like a God's, um, Godzilla's Revenge kind of moment here. It's like, where it's like, okay, so is Gamera real well, in this continuity, awesome. or is he... Yeah, we do too. The new turtle I stole. Who's trying to... I didn't pay money for him. The new turtle that's trying to drown himself right now. We should all be so lucky. <laughs> Hell, I'd rather follow his mom around for an hour and a half. Like, seriously. But yeah, no, I, I think the prevailing thought be, process, uh, behind this film for Daya was, okay... We really can't afford to spend any money, but we need to make some money. How do we do this? So basically, they just kind of just hire, you know, actors that don't really have to do much of it. It's pretty much just actors just acting like, you know, the exception of their superhero outfit. It's mostly just them in normal scenes dressed as, you know what I mean? And all the really effect shots are going to be stock footage or, you know, Star Wars knockoff scenes, apparently. Like I'd be happy living far away from you. I stole him, and now I'm going to release him in the wild. I know. You've had him for like an hour. I know. Ew, that water's gross. He flips over his back, flips him off, and dives underwater. <laughs> now it's night. Oh, yeah, this is going to be one of many concierges in this film. I know. But yeah, no, I don't know. This movie has obviously been a, uh, has been made fun of and spoofed quite a bit. I think Elvira did something with this too one time. Oh my god, that's uh, how you know it's bad. You know, it, it's strange when I think when I see this movie and I think about okay when they were pit probably pitching the idea to do Gamma again in the nineties. It's just like, I, I guess I'm just wondering, like, I would love to have been in that room when they were having that conversation, because again, with, with the Gamma franchise left off on this, I'm just like, yeah. that must have been the pitch of the century, like, okay, here's what we're going to do, we're going to make Gamma movies, and it, it it's like, uh, I mean, again, I'm glad it happened, because those movies are fucking phenomenal, but then again, it's almost like... I, I think you know when they when the pendulum when the pendulum kind of swings back it swings back you know hard the other way so I think a big part of the reasons why we got such th three 
amazing, amazing films that we did in the 90s was only because it got this bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was almost like it hit rock bottom that all we could really do was, like, go up from there, and it's almost like, let's... Really? You're gonna trans... Oh. Look at all those people. Right there. Literally right there. (laughs) You just don't even... See kids in the days oh, before fuck. CD players and cars. I know, right? You have to play your own fucking music. Yes, that must be it. But no, I, I I'm happy that we have a more adult centric story, at least in this film. I mean, I know there's a whole thing with a kid, but still, it's. I don't know. I mean, oh, back to the start of the story. <laughs> Again, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but I just... For me, again, if I get to see Gamera scenes from other Gamera movies, so if I'm in the mood for Gamera, well, I get to get to see a lot of the cool scenes that came before, and when I'm not seeing those scenes, I get to follow characters that I feel are much more compelling and interesting than young children. So, is it a good movie? No... Was it a movie that should have been made? No. It should have died. Just cut their losses. Just accepted their fate. Absolutely yes. But if they were going to do it, I, I, you know. If anything, I think this is an, an example. I wish they would have done this sooner with the Gamera franchise. Like start making Gamera films in the show era like this. You know what I mean? As opposed to, again, just like making kids movie, kids movie, kids movie, kids movies. And then just, you know. I'm actually kind of surprised that they um, that they tried because again the Godzilla, you know, which again people largely consider like the terror of Mechagodzilla, really the final uh, kaiju film of the Showa era. It's not technically because there's this film, but you know it is a uh, you know for all intents and purposes in terms of like legacy, that one it really feels like the end, uh, and you know. It's strange that die. They waited like you know, five years to make this movie, and by this point, you know the kaiju films were done. They weren't making any more, and even that film, the Terror Mech got the, essentially flopped at the box office. So it wasn't there. Really, wasn't a lot of incentive to do this movie, and whatever kind of meager monetary returns they thought they might get, really, in my opinion, didn't justify going forward with another Gamera film, especially one that is just, you know, a hack stitching, stitch job of older film just haphazardly thrown together. So, it, I don't know, it just, this whole movie just screams bad idea. Yes, I mind. I mind if you play it. Sam. Yeah, please don't. They transform and just murder him. Yeah, <laughs> He's like, this is how I get all the bitches. Look at this little player right here. See, we give him a ship, but look at him. He's got three beautiful women on his back right now. And look at him. Look at him. They're eating that shit up. He's like, hell yeah. When I roll into the I'm club. I'm pretty sure he's not actually playing now. Because those hands look way too big to be child's hands when they do the back shot. I don't know if they'll show it again. Maybe he's got yaoi hands. I know. God, she's, she's like, I can't take it anymore. I can't take <laughs> it anymore. <laughs> Must resist murder. <laughs> she just decks him. Oh, oh, yay. It's over. Woo. Kid, you came back close. If only we had some stock footage of a giant turtle fighting Gauss. <laughs> well. Seriously, if this kid is gonna roll into the club like a baller. He's gonna crap the whole like dance floor is gonna part. He's going to walk across and he's going to see an organ on the other side of the, the club. She's going to sit down. It's going to turn into like a freaking hot-ass rap video. 
fly girl is just dancing all around and he's just playing in the organ singing a stupid ass song <laughs> I'd watch that movie it's morphin time <laughs> in the middle of this park that you know conveniently no one is in seriously homegirl in the middle is fucking I know damn Dude, she can fuck somebody up. She is. Yeah. <laughs> what transform? As a... oh, okay. I was like, uh, did you already do that? See, I wanted to fight crime looking like that. I know. God, she's fucking beautiful. I know. See, this is why I don't mind. I mean. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel for personally for me at this point, I'm the Gamma movies have just kind of exhausted me. Okay, look right there. Gamma is way too big right there. Yeah. He's like the fucking mothership in Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to see that sh that scene now. Giant fucking Gamma, like city-sized camera coming over. Yeah, this is like a Sesame Street after school special right here. I mean, is this supposed to be new footage? Yeah, this is new. I was like, oh, yeah. See, th that's my point. If all this would have been shot, like, I'm a, I guess that is shot new. But, like, not good new. Yeah. I mean, the Gamma films have always been kind of subpar in terms of effects, unfortunately. Well, again, not the 90s ones, but even for them, that looked really like. That supposed to be leather? It looks like freaking vinyl for her skirt. Might be. Leather. Bitch, please. That way it's not considered kidnapping. The fuck you say, boy? <laughs> oh, God. <Yeah. laughs> this... We're back to this. And look, it's magically night again. Listen, listen. Uh, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of your Debbie Downer attitude. Listen. You're seeing what I'm seeing. You understand. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop the car that's somehow still driving. See, I never understood. How come we didn't, like, cut off the wheel and everything? Listen, you're overthinking it somehow. And by overthinking it, you mean thinking about it at all? Yes. That's not for any person to understand. <laughs> Good to know it's not just me. Like gals are just not want any part of that. Even the irony is, I actually didn't mind the gas movie that much. It had a kid in it, but it still had a, enough like adult stuff there. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. When it comes to what I like about this movie, it is, uh, or not, not Gauss, but like Super Monster. It, yeah. It's purely superficial. It's got three beautiful women in it, and for me, and again, it's like, at this point, I'm like, alright, if I have to watch these, you know, the, the, the Gamma films from the show era, it's uh -huh. like, I know. It's like, I don't know. I, well, again, it's I, I'd like, rather watch three beautiful women. If they actually did the story, again, it's like you said, if they actually did it without the clip show, it probably would have been you know, a better received movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, I, I think by this point, kaiju films are kind of done, unfortunately. But I think it would have gone down in history as a better, much better film. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's one of those things where, like, Terra Mechagodzilla didn't do very well at the box office, but it wasn't because it was a bad movie. It's just people just weren't really into this kind of thing anymore. But since that time, you know, the quality has persisted, and now it's recognized as a really great Godzilla film. I think if they would have done a similar thing with this movie, just made it a good movie, or, you know, had new, a lot of new scenes shot, 
I don't think the movie would have done well, personally. I think, again, it was just a case of too little, too late. Especially this one. It was well after the, you know, really the yeah. show era really felt done. But, you know, I think... Oh, Jesus. This is the one where he rips off his foot. Yeah. But I think, again, time would have been a lot kinder to this film. Because, again, I find those... These three women, you know, they're interesting. Right? They're not bad characters. I mean, they're not the most compelling people in the world. But, you know, okay. They're, they're grown-ups, so naturally it makes sense that they're trying to save the world because a child would not do it. And I dig the superhero Sentai kind of angle, too. I mean... Well, they don't apparently have Stranger Danger in Japan. Yeah. That fucking bitch! <laughs> Let's get her. I can't believe this. My child, my innocent child brain cannot comprehend. Oh. So they're not, they're just getting right back into it. They're not <laughs> even, they're not even giving any breathing room. No, it's just like. Is this from the same movie? Mm-hmm. Is this yeah. an earlier scene then? Oh, no, I forgot, yeah. Yeah, because of that, yeah. Yeah. Cue the murder. Yeah. <laughs> you got a. You got a little something right there. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's like two stepping. Ooh. Now, I will say this too. <clears throat> Ow. Now, if you're a parent who would have brought their young child uh, to the cinema to see this film in Japan, um, now you got to depending on how old they were, they might have been too young to see the other Gamera films. So I guess yeah. For you know, I, I guess if you try to imagine, okay, let's say you've never seen any of the Gamera films. Let's say you don't really know anything about Gamera. You don't know that they use stock footage, and you just watch this movie. You know, would it function better if you didn't know this is stock footage? I mean, I know some of the... I mean, uh, you can still tell it clearly doesn't fit. <laughs> well, yeah, but would it be would it, st would it, would it be, still be better for you? Because for us, we're just... Yeah, I guess. We're literally just seeing, like, it's like skipping around to a bunch of different movies. Whereas if you had never seen any of these Gamera films, you know, would this film work... Would this film essentially play out the way I was saying it would if they had I, shot all new scenes? I guess the problem is, is if they actually had shot new scenes, you'd be seeing it like, you know, our, our main character standing somewhere, you know, with the fight happening and they become yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Again. I mean, obviously not every scene, but, you know, obviously usually they incorporate them. Well, also, too, these scenes very, feel very, uh, like, forced in, like... Oh, yeah. The story that's happening is like, oh, yeah, Gauss just appeared. Well, again, like, the the lady, oh, if he shows up again, he's gonna win. Oh, we're literally just cut back. Uh, it's it's kind of especially, like, why is this stuff happening? <laughs> that's a pretty small projector. Thanks, buddy. Oh, they sleep in the same room? I think she's just relieved that he's not having other kinds of dreams. I know, right? Oh, thank God, he's still my little boy. <laughs> Give him a couple of years, and that's, that whole scene right there is going to get really Who awkward. Who the fuck is Keiji? I like how they just know. Tokyo Tower, we've been there. I know, right? If you guys ever go to Japan, you guys, you have, or Tokyo specifically, you have to go to Tokyo Tower, and you have to go to Skytree. And Odaiba. Just go to Tokyo in general. <laughs> Just go to Tokyo and be there. Especially with the uh, new store opening up. Oh, yeah. Since this is such a great movie, I'm going to take this time to uh, <laughs> plug something else real quick. They're at the time of this recording, they're opening up a Godzilla store in uh, 
It's is it in Shinjuku? Shinjuku, yeah. Shinjuku, Tokyo. So yeah, it's where the Toho uh, uh, theater is, where they have the like Godzilla head. Yeah, so go there. Anyway, back to Gamera. Um, yeah, let's go back to Godzilla now. <laughs> just I know, kidding. Right? <laughs> um, so where's the dad in all this? Is he off working all the time? Haven't you read any Dojins? If this was a doujin, this child would live by himself. And he'd be hooking up with her. Nobody's alarmed that she disappeared there? They just saw a giant Independence Day ship-sized turtle fly over their city. They're probably thinking, that's the weirdest shit they see all day. They've had a good day. Jesus Christ. See, there's something kind of sweet about this, because this kind of story would never work... Yeah, I think like in America, where in America it's like there's a random woman following a kid around and talking to him and buying him food, you know. <laughs> but Japan is much more, you know. Well, I was gonna say, wouldn't he be worded out that she's wearing the same thing all the time? But I guess so is he. So. Are you kidding me? They didn't have a wardrobe budget for this movie. <laughs> like, pick out something comfortable because you're gonna be wearing it for a while. They probably shot all of these scenes in one day. That's actually a good point. I, I I would be curious to see like how. Um, what what you doing, lady? It's gonna be funny. If someone like photoshopped the middle finger when she was doing. That. <laughs> but yeah, that, yeah, I, I would be curious to see like how long this shoot was because it, it it couldn't have been. It was probably more than a day. It was probably maybe a cup a few days. But I mean. You know, with the exception of those, the other three women, when they have to do like their effect shots or they transform, for the most part, they're just walking around Tokyo in regular clothes, and you know what I mean. Occasionally looking <coughs> up at the sky. Kidnapping. Which... Yeah, look how she's grabbing him too. And now it's time to make you a man. Oh, oh no. Well, is that is that is that code for something? You want to see Gamera, don't you? Wink, 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 wink. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's you becoming a man, son. It's a lot different than I expected. So I'm just kind of like, does this kid not wonder what's happening right now? Well, I'm sure he's now. <laughs> Wow, that's some long travel time. Damn. Bam. Jesus. And, and he's not going to question how they got there? <laughs> so let's see. They're on a beach... If only there was a camera film no. where there was a fight on a beach. Oh, no. It is funny because this kind of gives me a, like a bit of a, a Super Sentai slash Power Rangers vibe where it's like a, you know, the monster of the week kind of thing where it's like, all right, we're going to try to destroy the earth this time with this monster and then our yeah. heroes have to do battle with it. Except and then... it's in one movie. Yeah, it's in one movie. You know, it, not that I'm encouraging this at all, but it, it, it's funny to me that they did a movie out of this where I could have seen them doing like a few like half hour like TV specials, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's a thing like where again the evil alien woman is like, oh, <coughs> we're gonna destroy the earth, and then we'll send down this monster. Cut to the stock footage of you know whatever movie you're gonna use that week. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <coughs> we should have got Chris for this one. I know, right? Have him add some hilarious anecdotes. Even though I think this would have put his, uh, 
te- put his skills to the ultimate test. I know, right? Push him to his limits. <coughs> you crack a joke as we see like tears rolling down his face. God, that. Ooh. Oh. Still looking. It looks like it hurts. I guess at least they're not showing. Um, what was it? The Berugan fight again. Oh, I think we're going to see that one again, too. Seriously? I'm pretty sure we do. Again, I haven't watched this one in a while, despite my... I know we watched it once. Love for I these... I have not watched it again. Three attractive women. Except it's for, just not enough. Except for now. You made me. <laughs> you did this to me. You did this to <laughs> me! Why didn't we buy alcohol for this? Jesus Christ. We'll be doing shots of absent for this movie. <laughs> Okay. Listen, he felt the impact. They're trying. Are they? No. Are they really? I mean, I think they're trying a little harder than they did with the uh, the last fight, so. What do you mean, try a little harder with the last fight? They didn't shoot the last fight new. No, I know, but at least they're trying to interject some stuff like they're there now. Whereas I mean, yeah, there. I would say this one makes more a little bit more sense. It's like, oh, I'm on a beach, and then this happens. That was some pretty bad earthbending. It's still better earthbending that rock they did in a <laughs> I know. Blast Airbender movie. And then we get to see just this insult yeah. to injury played over all over again. Uh, just, just put him, put us out of our misery, Gamera. <laughs> yes, burn him. Melt <laughs> his flesh away. The kid just starts dancing up and down. Well, the kid's just telling Gamera to murder other monsters. she do with her watch? Well, now that our little day excursion's done of watching giant monsters fight on the beach, it's like... I guess the problem with this, too, is that the fact that they're not really integrating this stuff well is, is it comes from the fact that it's it's like, where, where is the world's response to this? I know. Like, these there, monsters... There's just no response. No one cares. Japanese government was like, nah, just let them fight. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this kid is fucking like... <laughs> it's like, listen here, you bitch. How do you know their names, child? Is it because you've seen these movies? <laughs> She's gonna bust out a piano sonata. <laughs> I do dig the whole idea of, um, um, like, the music being kind of like their technology. I think yeah. that's cool. Whee! Again, I... Whatever, I'm not going to say it again. I, I just feel like there was a missed opportunity. But then again, did they even have the money to uh, to have done more if they wanted Why to? Why is the quality right here so bad? It's because it was an effect shot. And, and they were still... They hadn't cut away from That's it yet. That's weird. I feel if this was made now, she'd be using like a smartphone or something. <laughs>
I'm trying to find interesting things to say right now, but I'm coming up blank. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it, it, I, again, I, I, I don't think they would have had the money to, uh, to have do, do more with it. But you know, it, it, it just comes right back down to it. It's, uh, but uh, I think it was a, I think it was a good lesson too, that really shows you couldn't really get away with this kind of thing. I mean. Again, the big the biggest thing I I just find strange is it's like that they thought it would kind of work because again, I mean, mm -hmm. when the Godzilla franchise wasn't working anymore. Oh, look, she's lowering it back to her van. He just seals her away. Why? It's funny, um... You know, one of the reasons why, um... Uh, the new Gamera, th there's so few shots of the new Gamera, obviously, um, you're using stock footage, and by this point in time, um, uh, the Gamera suits would have just, like, like, like any, like most tokusatsu effects, they would have just have suffered from wear and tear, and they would have been, they were all, they weren't in, in good, you know, condition anymore, so they actually, uh, Dai, uh, actually contracted, uh, Equius Productions to kind of create, like, the newer Gamera suits. Oh, no. Yeah. This one? Okay, no, yeah. that's a stupid squid thing. Give you a little bit of your, your tentacle rape now. And then the terrible, like, stabbing that's really violent. Yeah. For some reason. But yeah, no, they had out, basically out, so those few shots you see of, like, the uh, which is clearly, you know, the new gamma stuff they shot for this movie. Yeah, it was done by another production company. God, this monster was just bad. Like, I, I get they tried to not do a humanoid silhouette, and it worked for the most part, but, like, uh, it's just too plain. Well, again, I think because of the budgetary restraints, it's what held, yeah. held it back. Even though, again, you look at Jiger, and I know. they did a great job with him. Yeah, it's really hit or miss. With the show era gamma films. But you see, that's also the problem, too, is uh, with doing commentaries for a movie that's pretty much made up of movies that you've already done commentaries for. It's that, I mean, these scenes, while, okay, they're not, you know, effects wise in terms of tokusatsu, they're not that great. But w at least when you're watching them within the context of the narrative that they come from. You know, you can at least talk about them more. But right now, I'm just, you know, it's just so strange because it's like, I, I, I'm almost more interested in the alien stuff than I am the these monster scenes because a I've seen them before, and b they're not all that great. <laughs> so for me, I'm almost like I'd rather go back to the the three women and you know, I know. focus on them because I I find their story more interesting because these. The gamma components of this film are not integrated well in terms of a narrative perspective. Yeah. Uh, this scene. <laughs> this whole movie. This music. I'm like, why is it so cheery? Like I said, I think this movie works better if you have not seen the other films. Yeah. yeah. If this is their first show of gamma film, ooh. There it is. I was waiting for the stabby stabby. Kids movie. Good old kids movie with violent stabbing. That was a cool shot, though. See, like, why is she just there? Like, 
It doesn't even make sense for her to be present at the site. I guess because she just stayed after last time. And this fight happened immediately after, apparently. No, there are the two uh, beach fights. I know. Again. It's so funny because we've been dogging on these movies so bad. I mean, not uh, terribly so, but we have we have been less than kind when we feel they deserve them. And it's just going to be funny when we go to the, you know, the, after this, the next time we see Gamera, it's going to be a very different discussion. Like, it's just, it is probably one of the best examples I've, in film that I've seen of, um, you know, a franchise going from one end of the spectrum to the other. Yeah. <laughs> That's the right response. Seriously, that that skirt looks so uncomfortable. Mm hmm. I like how they didn't even do an effect. They literally just did it where she disappears. Yeah. Although you could make the argument that a, a super, you know, advanced form of teleportation, that would be the most... Ad well, yeah, but I guess just in terms of shooting, it looks cheap. But I guess that's why. because it's, it's easy. It <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. It is cheap. It looks like she's just like the ringleader and those are her bitches. I know. I mean, I think she is the leader, so. Yeah, fuck you too. At least I'm reading, Mom. Like, I know, doing right? Drugs. Most kids have like, in this time oh, period, would have like. Okay. Okay, never mind. Now yeah. it got weird. Now it's really weird. Okay. He's sleeping with his books. Like. At least put them under your pillow, like the whole, like, cliche of, you know, oh. Yeah, so this is the newer gamer suit they it's built for this movie. It's funny, because he's, it's like his face is too wide and his tusks are almost too big. And this is from, a. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, space Battleship Yamato. Uh, what, how did they, oh, Jesus Christ. So, it's now Gamera... So you wanted new footage, folks. Here we go. Uh, kind of. We have the the new Gamera suit interacting with uh, anime stock footage. And I want to go... I w this might be the best part of the movie, only because what the stock footage you're using is from something that's infinitely more entertaining than this movie. Seriously. In a couple years, this kid's dreams are going to get very different. <laughs> Yeah, we all think it's real, too. I dream we wake in 3D up. and 2D also, child. <laughs> He's got Who Framed Roger Rabbit dreams. Yes. Like the Japanese uh, mystery machine. I know, right? I'm going to drop penis on here. Is that a fucking C4 charge? Or something? It's an early uh, Game Boy. Right. It's kind of like, if you're like a space woman, why do you have to blow things up? Can't you just like phase into it? Or do that? Oh. 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 Good mischievous face. She's like, <laughs> We must have just kicked down the door. I mean, you robbed her already, so it's like. I know. And now you're going to, you know, break into her apartment again, I'm yeah. assuming. See, it, I, I think it's funny that his, his, again, in terms of the cultural sensibilities, you know, I love, like, for his mother isn't bothered that he's oh, hanging out with, like... Marks aren't in the same spot, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Anyway, sorry, what? No, I was going to say, he's basically hanging out with, like, middle-aged women. Not middle-aged, but, like, <laughs> like oh, women in their late 20s, probably. And, like, his mom isn't concerned. 
Whereas otherwise in America this would be a Law and Order SVU episode waiting to happen. Good thing we sleep in our dog carrier. Oh. Oh. And she is rocking that pantsuit. I know. Funny thing is, her whole look and style, she could do that, like, now. I know. Listen, child. It's not the way these things work. I hate it when children in movies look like they understand something. I mm, know. Yes, mm. Remember when I was saying at the beginning, yeah, I kind of like this movie, and I've been just hating on it ever since. But again, they're so pretty. It's like when she's on screen looking at the screen, it's like I'm calm, but the second like cuts away <laughs> from her face directly, I feel like my rage mounting. It's like right here, it's all like, oh, okay, she's back. I'll do a little Tai Chi before they can transform. <laughs> oh, <man>. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> his face. Oh, no. Why are you kind of like lurking, kind of behind the bushes? I know, like look at her. Now going into the alleyway. So does he have a key? Wow, she's tall. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty bad uh composite shot. Yeah. There oh. he is, Jiger. I love his roar cuz it just sounds like he's screaming. It's like ah! I want to scream like that. It's <laughs> actually just me screaming right he now. He just sounds like he's in a perpetual pain. Ah! I just love this crap. Every time he, he he screams, he just sounds like he dropped a bowling ball on his foot. Yeah. Again, though, the suit is... I mean, the mouth is a little wonky, but... I, I, I still want to know how they pulled off the back legs for this one. And why nobody else did it, not even Toho. Yeah. So it's like they just go back to her place and just, you know. That's me getting ready for Halloween. Right. <laughs> Gamer seems really unsure of himself here. <laughs> it's like, I don't know about this shit. But now, despite all my hating on this movie right now, which I promised myself before this I wasn't going to do it, but uh, it just seems like a lot of it's just by reflex. No, again, it's... Well, again, it's kind of like... It's just difficult seeing, having watched these movies, especially recently, so it's just like, uh... Yeah. Again, if we had maybe just watched this one randomly... Yeah. Out of nowhere, after not having watched this in a while, maybe. But yeah, because we've been watching these movies, you know, steadily for the commentaries. That's kind of like, 
Camera looks drunk right there. It's like tongues hanging out. Mm -hmm. Here I go. Even though I can fly. Oh. Ooh. Give me this lot of cheap shots. I know, right? So rigid. <laughs> so does that mean we're gonna see the shot again where he uh shanks Jiger in the head, or are they gonna just have this be his defeat? I don't know. See again. <sighs> I, 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 Can we just not do one more chance? Well, no, but I'm just going to say, like, all right, I, I find, okay, like, it's, the stuff going on with them and what she's doing, I, again, it's more, for one of these kind of gamma films, these more kid-friendly movies, it's more interesting. I can't remember which one it was, but it was the one they had the really, really young kids, and they were going to the submarine, and they were making, like, goofy mm -hmm. faces, like, this is better, like, I'm saying, it. Oh. I would have rather have them use that cheap new suit that, quite frankly, doesn't look very good, but whatever. Yeah. And have it, them shoot, like, new stuff. I mean, there's one scene towards the end of the film that has new, uh, new scene that they shoot with it. Because at least then I could just, alright, the movie doesn't look good, but I can enjoy it from more of a narrative um, kind of stance, I guess, perspective, however you want to say it. But it's just that's the problem. Hey, look at this scene for like the, what the third, fourth time they showed it as a. Yeah, this is from uh, the second one. Mm-hmm. Camera versus Barry. They've Uga. already used it as a clip like twice. Yeah. And, well. Yeah. Gamer looks better here though. Yeah. Ironically, you go back further and he's. Well, I think the problem with that new suit is that. Again, like, he clearly isn't, like, he's way too big and wide in the new one they made just for this, and his tusks were longer, but the fact that I think they just made it so his mouth just opens and shuts. Yeah, kind of like a goldfish like breathing. Just, yeah, it just keeps doing it, where it, instead, obviously, here, it's just the, you know, they're opening it when he's roaring or whatever. Well, obviously, here, he was still meant to look scarier yeah. and meaner, so there's more, but I find that the suits in the first two films are a lot more detailed. Also, again, look at tonight again. Hey, again, you've been in Japan, you realize that uh, it doesn't stay day very long over there. I know. So, I'm not, we're not even joking. Like, 2 o'clock rolls around, the sun is starting to slowly go down. You can tell. 2 o'clock over there looks like 5 or 6 o'clock. I think this is new footage here. I can't tell. Yeah, this is new footage. Oh. This is the new suit, basically. Godzilla. Jesus. I'm just like, really, guys? The fact that you stayed on it that long? It's funny. I love that it's meant to be like a dig at Godzilla, a, a franchise that has done exceedingly better than yeah. this one. That even in this time was more highly respected. Uh, and the joke is, you, you, you made fun of him in this movie. Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing shots from the uh, the first camera film. At least the way they did it here, it kind of hides the fact. Yeah, I like how they're showing it. It's basically like kind of like bad TV reception, so that's how they hide... The fact that it's black and white. So it's actually kind of creative. Okay, so they put like a weird filter on it. Yeah. But I actually like how they did it here. It's actually yeah. something I'll give this film kind of credit for because it's... Because they've done it before too early where they cut to the first film and it was in black and white obviously. And we were like, okay, why is this random flashback in black and white? Let me play my magical organ. I 
I want them to just have a dance off and that's how they defeat Gamera. Or I guess not defeat him, but like the others. Also, you'll notice too with the new suit, the yes. head is the head. Well, not this shot. Uh, oh. oh. But when you saw him walking, the head was just angled straight up. Mm-hmm. What is anatomy? Even for a. Why does Gamera look sad there? I've got this, my fist, child. Look how this kid is just, like, not satisfied with anything. <laughs> like, dude, you get to hang out with three fine-ass women all day, and your broke ass hasn't taken them out to dinner or bought them anything. Like, the hoops I used to have to jump through back in the day. <laughs> and this kid is, this kid has got pull. back to this park yeah i'm really curious to see like how many days this shoot would have lasted i know <clears throat> that sound effect i know It's fun of the Star Destroyer. I'm, that's, I'm just going to keep calling it that. The Star Destroyer shots there make me think of how they looked in the, uh, uh, the Star Wars Christmas special. <laughs> I know. So why didn't they go up there and help her? Listen, don't be ridiculous. She had to do that. <laughs> I'm just, it I don't know. It was so easy. Or not. Don't encourage him. Well, we know you can because we've seen you do it. <laughs> Jesus. It's like he's got a weird butthole right there. Yeah, you noticed that too, huh? I didn't want to say it, but I just couldn't. Cause I couldn't. Stop I know. We were, I was it. looking at it too. I was like, huh? Like, because normally his tail sticks out a little bit, but they just made it. They just made it completely in, and it just looks like a weird, weird butt. Yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable now. <gasps> I can tell you're bad because now you're wearing a jacket. You gonna throw some money at me? Oh, oh. No. See, as, as kind of ridiculous as all this is, I love how these actresses are like they're going for it. They're oh, yeah. playing it straight. That's how, again. I, I'm more interested in this. They're me going too. for it. They're, they're they're not phoning it in. And if they wanted to, no one would be able to blame them for it. Kind of like there's. I don't think both of them need to watch him. Can't one of them go and help? Jeez. How dare you? Bam! Look at that. Uh, it's the best fight scene we've seen in the whole movie. Look at her. I God know. damn. This is better than the fights between camera. I know. Like, see, this is what I want. Like, when it focuses on the... Ooh. Oh. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, shit. Yeah. Again, <laughs> I'll reiterate. What would you rather watch? A bunch of little, like, you know, first graders... Running around a spaceship, or this. Like, this is... Look at that. Damn. Now, in those shots you see... I mean, her, it kind of cuts back and forth, but the... The woman in the green, like, she's doing a lot of the stunts. Oh, God. Mm. Look at this. I'm wondering if she's, like, a stunt woman or does, like, martial arts. Because, again, she's built up. Yeah. Hey. Hey. It's like a park bench in New York City. Oh. Yikes. Oh, you probably shouldn't put the sand in it.
So that was badass. Like, this... I think, again, if the movie would have had more of this... I know. And it, that way, if you're going to use some stock footage, I, w- I think it would have been better to have maybe just a couple gamma fights. Just use two fights. And, you know, just that way it's... Yes, it's stock footage, but you only see it twice. And it's the film is more laden with stuff I like this. I don't know if I'd give it back to her. I thought she's wearing different heels there. She wasn't wearing those before. No, she's got to wear sensible shoes when she goes into fights. I guess so. Was he just brushing her butt? You go, child. <laughs> Again, as kind of silly. Like, yeah, look at him. Look at him. Wow. Wow. This kid's got pull. <laughs> and, and they just, he just got thanked for that shit. Yeah, I, that, look at him. He's just hanging out with, oh, shit. <laughs> and again stuff like this it's it's like wow there's you know they're attempting to actually have like you know drama and yeah. like character arcs and like you know have these feel no! No. No! <laughs> and then they ruin it and then they ruin it oh shit no not the uh... knife head we're on didn't they already show this fight one other time too I don't know. I don't know. It just... It's like... I think that's the problem, too. They're trying to show as many of them as they can. Well, and I'm like, this one doesn't even make sense. Why did well, you suddenly go to space well, and this planet? That's why, again, I kind of feel like they should have just picked two. The two that you could integrate the best and then just go with that. You know what I mean? I know. I say use the Jiger fight because Jiger was, like, the best suit and honestly, one of the beach fights, since, you know, you get to the beach and you can put the characters there. And, you know, use, like, the the foot of how they did the first film with showing it on the TV with the filter. Yeah. I think, okay, but now it just feels excessive, especially after the... This... Again, it's been completed, like, she she lost. Well, and that's my point, oh, so... Jesus. Not that this again. Not that this film was really made for any other reason. They just try to make a little bit of money. But okay, for at least try to make it the best bad movie you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shuriken. Because this whole fight right now just kind of feels like what. Already, I'm not even... Inch- I, I want to go back to Earth, what we just have. That was so much more interesting to me. Watch A, that fight was awesome. And B, you know, seeing what they're going... You know what I mean? Like, there's clearly drama between these characters, or they clearly have a history together. Yeah. That start, that drama's playing out in front of us. I, I want to go back to that. They cut away from it, just, like, for a fight scene that really... In terms of just integrating stock footage, it just doesn't even work. I remember when he did this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to... Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I know. Again, it just doesn't fit. At least the other ones, it's like, okay, whatever. They, you know, really, like, <laughs> forced it in. But this one is just like, there's no excuse. Like, there's no reason for this fight to be here. Other than they, they wanted it to be. they literally wanted it to be. Yeah. Again, I'm really more interested in these women. It, it, it just sucks because I legitimately dig them as characters. Yeah, I, I I legitimately find them to be some of the most interesting characters they've done in these kinds of gamma films. These these more you know, with the exception of the first two films, which uh, you know the, it it just sucks again. We finally get to a point where all right, something really itching is happening with them, and then it cuts away. Yeah. But again, we knew what we were getting ourselves into with this film. Yeah. It's just... Ah, go to sleep. 
Can I go to sleep too? <laughs> you wake me when it's done. Oh, here we go. Back to the uh, Star Wars Christmas special effects. Oh. Uh, I'm just like baffled. How do they. Well, this is different. This yeah, is this a is a Galaxy Railroad Express. 999. Yeah. Jesus. Like, again, it's just weird because they kept making his mouth open. Like, why? 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 It's just so strange, like, using stock footage anime for... That's what I mean. I'm just like... I guess if they are trying to tie it in because they used the kind of art in the beginning, that looks similar, I guess, but... I think they're just using whatever they can get the rights to. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, Jesus, guys. Oh, no. Is she in his bed? That's... Weird. This kid's got pull. <laughs> oh my oh. god! What? Where is his mother? You're just okay with it! Condoning it all. Oh my god. You must understand, KG has pull. And, and, he, and he just slept with you. So here's a woman that not long ago was trying to destroy the world with giant monsters and kill your son... And now you just let her sleep in the same bed as him? Baller status does not Wanted even begin a sister to cover. Sister lady, she's like your age. Well, I know she keeps calling them all sister. I mean, clearly she's supposed to be a little younger than the mom, but like, I mean, you can tell she's not. She's definitely not in her twenties. I don't think. I would think she's probably more in her early thirties, maybe. What's wrong with being in your early thirties? Nothing, but I'm like, that's. Jesus. Yeah, I don't think he's got sister on his mind with you, sweetheart. Especially now that nightgown would be like fetish material. Oh, there we why? go! There's no reason it's over with! <laughs> it's over! Just let it end! Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Let's see, who who hasn't Gamera fought yet? I, I think this might be... I don't know. That That's how you can tell when the movie's winding down. When, uh... When uh, we kind of... Okay, so we, okay, let's see. We've we've seen some stock footage from the first movie, obviously. We, he's fought Gauss. He's fought uh, Guiron. Oh, this might be the last one, I think. I'm trying to think. At least we're getting some of the better fights now. Yeah, but it's just the point. There's just no re like there's literally no There's plot no reason, reason for anymore. this movie. Seriously, we should just... Chris did this episode with us. We should just uh, refer back to that I commentary. Know. Still a bit effect when they froze all the tanks. Yeah. So I now, loved it when we first saw it in the original movie. Yeah. Okay, so now imagine... Okay, we watch a Gamera film of this effects quality... With those women, like you see, what I'm saying this no, movie. No, no, it'd be good. This movie would have Even done though, very again. Technically, the movie's over, so I'm like, why? Why is this happening? So I know, like he, you know, he incorporated, you know, the well, fourth the and final like... woman to his harem. So, <laughs> oh my god, I guess my thing is, I'm like, you guys could have obviously. I mean, yeah, it was getting repetitive, but if you're gonna show him anyways, why don't you just stick him before? When she, before, you know, the resolution in the movie happened. Well, again, I still think that, because this movie is basically like an hour and a half, I think this movie could have been easily like an hour and 15 minutes, and I think they should have just... Yeah. I think they literally should have just cut it to um, two big major fights. Used the, the again, like I said, 
the footage from the first movie on the TV like they did that was creative and then you kind of integrate with a couple of those new shots they had and there you go rainbow well, power taste the rainbow oh maybe not oh you're doing it wrong Gamera How great if he hits and like skittles start raining down. Oh my god. This music. <laughs> if they remake if they do another game. Seriously, film. yeah. It's just so funny that the the suits the older suits look better. I know. I was gonna say if they do another Gamera film, I would love to see them bring back Barugon. Mm-hmm. They were supposed to do one, and then they they just ended up not doing it. I wonder why. I don't know. Maybe they're like, "Why bother when we can just show this fight again?" <laughs> <laughs> That would be the ultimate, like, troll if they did that. Like, the new Gamera movie, and it's just showing you a bunch of, like, like son of a bitch. <laughs> These new scenes all shot with big, beautiful HD digital cameras on air. But when it comes to a fight scene, it's like these scenes yeah. all over again. Like, like, you cheap bastards. Or they do, like, the Lucas thing where they just, like, CG stuff over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, at least it would have made these scenes a little different. I know. Come at me, bro. Oh. Fuck that bridge. No bridge is safe. Not in a kaiju movie. Yeah, I, mean, I guess you could say at least the last time they showed this, they showed like the entire, entire thing. Or at least now they're just kind of getting to the, you know. The highlights of yeah. the fight. But again, I just like the... I just find how much cool the gamma suit looks here i mean it i know look... it's retarded like it shouldn't it shouldn't look better because it's older it should look better now it doesn't make any sense well this is what happens when you spend money on a movie i know i really dig though Barry gun's design like i really really would like to see him like a modern like updated version of him oh yeah Into the water. It's time for your bath. It's really that death clock song. I know. Go into the water. <laughs> so, I'm... so just watching this. I know. Hey, Gamera's gonna go murder another monster. Wanna watch? Hell yeah. Look at it gasping for air. They just cheer, throw their popcorn. We're so happy about that. I'm just waiting for that kid to be like, all right, ladies, we got the Netflix. Who wants to chill? All right. You, you, you just saw it. I know. Why are they letting this kid lead them around? Okay, why does she have a crutch? Well, she got sh she shot herself in the leg, remember? Yeah, but I'm like, come on, lady. Oh, no. Oh, my God, his mouth isn't moving for once. He just destroys them. That sound, that's a bad... <laughs> yeah. It's like it just, a weird, like, comical sound. It's, every time I hear it, I think something else is happening off screen. Oh. I mustn't. Um. See, again, stuff like this, she's going to self-sacrifice and, like... Again, there's, like... 
you know, it's like, wow, the, the this movie right here is being about something. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's what, again, it's, yes, they're in silly outfits and what have you, but it's, I would rather have had a cheaper looking movie and have it focus on this considerably more interesting story that, you know. Oh, that makeup. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. It just makes her look less attractive. I'm like, why would you give her such ugly makeup? Well, she's supposed to be like the bad guy, so I mean, know, that's why. But still, look at her beautiful smoky eye. Like Gamera's just doing donuts in the sky. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting, guys. Thought you were on my welcoming committee. Did you forget he was yeah. there? Seriously. It's that shot you like. No, it just, why? Why? Why does it look so weird? It's never looked like that before. It might be just the angle. Oh my god. Stop showing. He looks like a, a float. You know, like a parade float. That's <laughs> like what a big Macy's like. Day parade float. Yes. Oh my god, he kind of does. That'd be a sweet float, though. I know, it would, but that's what he looks like. I would, uh... I'd love to see that float in the Macy's Day Parade. I think part of the problem is, look at his eyes. They almost look painted on instead of being made of, like, the glass, like normal. I think they are. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Gamma versus a Star Destroyer. That's kind of badass, I'm not gonna lie. Well, it's a good thing Lucas wasn't really in the habit of suing people because I'm like, wow. I know. Yeah, no, they just like painted that. What? What was that supposed to be? Gamera sacrificed himself. What? Is that seriously what it was supposed to be? Yeah. Like he ran into it? Yeah, he like just kamikaze it. Oh, that definitely did not have any kind of impact. Or but see, anything. that's my point. It's like, like yeah, they it, couldn't yeah. even show it. They just—I mean, yeah, it looked bad, but it had a—it was meaningful. You know what I mean? Like, but it's it, kind of lost because I couldn't—I didn't even realize that's what was supposed to have happened. Well, yeah, like I said they could have shot it better, but that's my point. When the, all the new stuff they shot, it looks worse. By the way, how how can they tell what happened from down there? They felt the disturbance in the force? I don't know. I guess so. Why are you shaking that kid? Jesus. I have a weird way of comforting him. Let me th throttle you. Is that how you comfort people? Starts headbutting him. I don't know. Again, it, the irony is this stuff looks worse, but it's better. You know what yeah. I mean? From in terms of storytelling, it's more interesting. Like, I would rather see this stuff then keep cutting back to just the stock footage. Yeah. Now we're going to abandon you in this park. Now he's going to be introduced to the concept of a dry spell. Oh. Yeah. Not really, though. Oh. Child abduction. Okay, so is she supposed to carry him? Because he, like, jumped up like he was going to fly, too. Uh, unless this is some, uh, like, Peter Pan shit, where it's like, as long as you're holding on, maybe they got some of that, you know, fairy dust. <laughs> I, think know, some, I think somebody was using the fairy dust when they made this movie. Yeah, I know. Well, folks, um, there you have it. We the, made it. The end of the Showa era. Um, uh, it's 
good thing they're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like such a sexist asshole. Just like, the only reason why I like this movie kind of stuff is because I want to have sex with them they're pretty ladies. Oh my god. Which, to be completely honest, I would have very much liked to have sex with them they're pretty ladies. But I'm just saying, I don't know. Um, ultimately, it's a movie that should have not have been made. But if they were indeed going to make another Gamera film... While, yes, I get it, they're going to cut costs, they're going to be cheap, I, but I think they could have been not so... But then again, I don't know, I, I, I from what I understand, from what I've read, that Daya at this point was literally just bleeding to death, essentially. So, which begs the question, then why the hell are you trying to make another game? Yeah. I mean, if, if you couldn't, if you didn't have the budget to even match what you did before in the last... You know, which already wasn't really held in high regard. What what was the point? Especially when, again, kaiju films were pretty much long since over at this point. The last of which, a Godzilla film, which is arguably one of the better ones of the show era. Well, I mean, not, not to say the other ones were all bad, but like, that one, Terror of Becca Godzilla, is considered a pretty goddamn good movie. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, and it's uh, Ishido Honda's last Godzilla film. And even that film didn't do very well. So what made you think this was going to, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. It is it is what it is. And ultimately, we got three incredible Gamma films, you know, later on. So it wasn't all bad, I guess. We The legacy. God, this end credit sequence is running long. I'm trying to wrap it up. And it's I like, know. they're still going. Listen, they're going to fly away and live happily ever after. There we go. There we go. Look how happy they are. Clearly, you can tell they're laying on their stomachs. Oh, okay. It's They, they kind of did the same thing in... Um... Okay, here we go. There we go. All right, folks. Thanks for hanging in there with <laughs> us. We really, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.